Hi, this is Lou DiNapoli. Today, I'd like to discuss with you the new P320-420 in the Cytrans P line from Siemens. Today, let's look at how to do the new push button setup for this transmitter by looking over my shoulder as I do it. Let's look at the push buttons and how they be used. Normally, when you come to a transmitter, the cover will be over the push buttons. This cover, as you know, has various pieces of information, serial number, uh, the model number of the unit, that sort of thing. Simple way to access the push buttons is just loosen this Phillips head screw, slide the cover back, and now the four push buttons are available to you. Let's look at the functionality of those push buttons. I'm going to describe the uh, buttons as though I were looking at the display in the front of the unit. So the right hand button is kind of like the enter key on your computer keyboard. It allows you to select things, lock in values, that sort of thing. Next one over is the down button. The down button is a useful one in that you use it to step down a parameter list, go down from one parameter to another. Uh, you would use the up button to go back up that parameter list. That, by the way, is a departure from what we used to do. You can now go from parameter eight, let's say, oh, I forgot to do something in parameter four. You can use the up button to go back up the list to parameter four. The left hand button is kind of, I want to go back to measuring pressure. And that's really the functionality of the left hand button. Let's see how to do a simple setup of adjusting the pressure units, setting the upper and lower value for a typical transmitter by looking over my shoulder as I do it. Okay, let's see how to set up this pressure transmitter. When we walk up to the transmitter, if it's powered, uh, we see that it's measuring pressure and that the units of pressure are bar. Right now, that's what it's reading. Well, I don't want that. I would like inches of water, let's say, and I want it to be zero to 48 inches of water. All right, let's see how we do that. I want to change the parameters and get into the editing mode. So I'm going to press here the right hand button. Remember what I said, it's kind of like the enter key. It now says you're in the edit mode and you're in parameter one. Parameter one, the list if you saw it, said the pressure units and right now this transmitter is in pressure units of bar. Well. I want to edit that. So what am I going to do? Well, I want to enter into editing parameter one. Now edit is flashing, indicating that you are ready to edit the pressure units on this transmitter. You also have an up and down arrow indicating that I can go up the list or down the list to see other pressures. For the moment, I'm going to choose the up button. I'm going to move up, and now it says millibar. Oh, notice that button, the indicator, changed from a double-headed arrow to a single downward porting arrow. That means I'm at the top of the pressure list, pressure units list. What do I have to do? I'll go down. There's bar, there's p pascals, different pressure units, and what am I looking for? Oh, there's PSI, that's familiar to me. There's grams per centimeter squared. There are 18 different pressure units that I can get. Here's millimeters of water at 6.8. What does that mean? What it means is this is units of water at 68 degrees F, which is kind of the standard for 90% of the world. Here's millimeters of water at four degrees C. That's the other 10% of the world. Most of the pressure units, pressure labs, 
have water at 68 degrees F, and there are a few that do it at 4 degrees C. Here we are at inches of water at 68 degrees. That is exactly what I want. So how am I going to select that? Remember, the right-hand button is the Enter key. I enter it, and now the editing stops. And right now, this transmitter is set up, it will be set up in inches of water. It will say inches of water on the display. This says inches of water at 68. You'll see that in a second. So I still want to now pick my values of pressure. So what am I going to do? I'm going to come down the editing list. Notice it now went to O2. So parameter 2, it's saying the lower range of this instrument is minus 100 inches. Well, this happens to be a 100-inch capsule. So it starts out, at ne it can give me a value for negative 100 inches. Well, this customer wants zero inches. So what am I going to do? I'm going to enter that editing mode. Editing is flashing. And now, what do I want to do? I want to take a numeric value and increase it. So I use the upward arrow, and now I will begin to go up from negative 100, 99, Remember, I want zero. And there I am at zero. So I want to, I have a lower range of zero inches of water. So four milliamps will equal zero inches of water. And I enter that value. Edit stops flashing. Mode two is still there telling me that mode 2, which is the 4 milliamp pressure, is equal to 0 inches. So what am I going to do next? I'm going to go to mode 3. Mode 3 says the upper range value, in this case, again, it's a 100-inch capsule, so it gives me 100.55 inches. Well, my customer wants 48 inches, so I enter that editing mode, again, flashing, and what am I going to do? I'm going to use the down button to now scroll down to the 48 inches of water that we want to set. Stop at 50. Start downward again. That was pretty good. Stopped it right there. And now I'm going to enter that value. So this transmitter is now set up 0 to 48 inches. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Thank you.